timeline for him, I guess. Oh, not even going to try, Rob. Opening with Neat Brawler. Three, cool. Two, one, I don't even have any words for this. I don't know what kind of kid he has on his Neat Brawler. Oh, what is that? Oh, God. Oh, the sounds that just means. She's got cat ears. Whoa. All right. Well, I have to finish like tweeting this stuff and you can you can definitely judge a man by the kind of me that they play the costume the kit and wait, most importantly oh, the noises it wait, makes she's that um oh my god the, I'm pretty sure she's that anime character like super old anime character oh uh, I don't know her name wait you're telling me there's a super old anime character with cat ears yeah, no, yeah, yeah. no way yeah she has green hair and is uh dressed in like leopard uh pattern. Her name is Lum. Is, it, is that Lum? Oh, his name is Lum. That's hilarious. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> he stands Lum. Alright. Oh my goodness. Hilarious. Perry, Perry up tilt Lloyd Rocket Del 31%. Mr. Zircon. Right now. Thanks, Helper. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you described green anime old cat girl and like there's so many of that, those. That, there, there really isn't. <laughs> Green-haired anime she's cat girls. Even, she's not even a cat girl. She's a known. Those are horns. Okay. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, 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 yeah. I thought they was, those were cat ears. I yeah, did okay. too, but yeah, now that I'm thinking of like the actual character, you're 100% right on that. That is hilarious. And that move only dealt 12%. I don't know why he keeps doing it. How fast is that move that he can comfortably throw, throw it out like that? Has to be like as quick as clouds up beef, anything. Is he gonna be able to make it back? No, he is not. Yeah, me well, definitely not know if we're having an impeccable recovery. Um, just Jonathan is just struggling so much to break space. Mr. Zircon has just been playing a fantastic keep away game for so long. He has such a good idea of how Jonathan is gonna be jumping in. Um, and it's just getting such a good punish with each time he does so. Oh wow, that could easily be the stock now. But nicely spacing that up so that it keeps Mr. Zircon stuck in shield stun as he snaps onto the ledge. Oh my. That noise was definitely uncomfortable. I don't feel good about that. Well, Zircon trying to put an end to it anyway, so... Why, why does Lum sound like that? that that's why just, Lum gotta sound like that? That's what jo Joshathan uh, elected for her to sound like. As, uh, as that me fighter. Alright, sticking with the, uh, the fighter, so we're gonna see more of Lum. Her squeakiness. Um. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to say that he's given up because obviously I don't know how often he plays me Brawler, but that first game was pretty rough. I, I feel like Mr. Zircon just kind of stuck to his same rotation um, and did the same stuff over and over again, almost. He, he didn't deviate from his game plan. Joshathan is just struggling to adapt properly. Ooh. He's struggling to find his way in. But... Uh, Ooh, found... that was disgusting. I was able to find like a small win for a little bit, but wasn't able to keep hang on to it for too long. Zircon uh, really just able to like, re-grab uh, control. Um, Jonathan kind of relying on this uh, up the out of shield option, or just trying to use it as a combo breaker. And ugh. yeah, excellent catch on the high recovery. Very similar to how you try to edge guard ZSS. But obviously, Mibrelli's flip kick doesn't go nearly as tall. I, I love that command grab, but it actually just sends you nowhere. Yeah. I mean, it, I mean, it, it yoinks you, it grabs you, but you don't go anywhere, and you don't do that much damage. Just, it just confuses me. But Mibrelli's up smash, quite literally, Fox is up smash. That move is quick. That move kills you early. Mm -hmm. You always have to be super mindful of it. Yeah, so able to even up the stocks here. Uh, like 90 damage, like he's definitely at a deficit right now. But if he's able to, like, you know, 
get a turn. Oh. One poke. One Never poke. got a turn. And now is a full stock deficit. Sitting on last stock. Uh, loser side grands. Uh, I mean, he's bleeding his jumps off stage. Yeah. I don't know why he didn't go for the flip kick first and then try to go through the jump, right? Because at least after he gets his flip kick knocked out of him, he can still jump. Once you lose, you jump. You just dead. Yep. Yep. Hey. Oh. Okay, she's just making all the sounds. <laughs> Why does she have to sound like hey. this? Yep. Tuh. I mean, she makes the sounds like when you right pick now. up an animal in SA2. So, I like his little change and play where he's going for the neutral a little bit more. He's trying to, like, hit past um, some of the palace, some of the slingshots. But it kind of... He's just whiffing a whole lot in Masuzu Khan's face now. And now all Masuzu Khan's doing is just waiting for him to press a button. And then he's hitting him for it. He's whiffing an up B, he's whiffing a neutral out, and he just gets hit over and over for it. I'd like to see someone walk up in shields. You know, something as simple like that to at least challenge Isabel's space. Because otherwise, um, you know, you're just running into everything at this point. Yeah, like, there's one thing to try and, like, thwart your enemy, and then there's the other of, like, you know, imposing your will on them, you know? Like, if you're just, like, stopping what they're doing you're, and not getting anything started, you're always going to be either going even or losing and just not able to really take control of it. So, game two going to Zircon, now on tournament point. Tournament game, absolutely. I, Joshathan, no, like, I don't know if he cares enough at this point, but Palutena would definitely be the move. Even Rob, I think, would be better than this. He just seems so much more comfortable with those two characters. It seems more so he's actually playing the game. Where sometimes here, I feel like he's fighting with his own character's mobility and recovery. It kind of ends up like he's shooting himself in the foot sometimes. Yeah, I, I think at this point, because um, we clearly saw that, like, he had some frustrations and... Uh, you know, just some struggles with Rob and the one game with Palu, although I think he was already kind of mentally checked out at that point. But, you know, maybe uh, he's just kind of sticking to the fighter just to see what kind of data it is. Maybe he's kind of like saying like, hey, if this doesn't work, um, you're the better player today. I am not going to contest that, but I can at least see how Try this will go for, for the future. Yeah. I love the fact that Isabelle's early percent combo starter is up smash. It's such like a weird Olimar-esque thing, and I just love it. I'm yeah. here for it, absolutely. Funny whistle girl. <laughs> yeah. What an angle that sent at, goodness. All right. Oh, wow. All right, Joshua, now we're getting someone. Sh showing some life. That last up uh, didn't work out, but I think it was just a... Uh, Miss spacing uh, vertically. He thought he would reach, but it didn't. Uh, it's just like, yeah, that's fine. It's whatever. Um, up to a fishing rod. Gonna take 143% more than enough to be able to kill at that point. Oh god! Wow, what a call out on that whipped up be though. That's it. Wait, I have never seen Isabel actually move so far back from her jab. Is that something new? Zircon. Zircon is on fire right now. What is happening? I thought Joshathan was so close to at least make this a closer game. Again, calling out these jumps, almost getting that double neutral would have definitely spelled the end of his stock. He's not recovering low at all. He goes through all these high recoveries with flip kick and with up B, and Mr. Zircon has basically a one in two chance every single time of getting it. That's a hilarious interaction, Isabel still being hit by, like, her own Lloyd Rocket being exploded. Tries to go for the down fishing rod into another one. Haven't seen it, that's an interesting mix-up. Maybe if he died in? No idea. The up still does not kill. I mean, it's a quick move, but it only deals 13% and it doesn't seem to kill. I just feel like, across the board, me oh, well, wow. That's it. Zircon takes a 3-0. Three stocks to zero. 
And that is going to mean that Mr. Zircon is your Xeno Wi-Fi number 20 champion, guys. With Jonathan G coming in, I don't want to say a close second, but Dan the Man with a very, very close third. Okay. So, yeah, uh, able to seal that tournament point with a three stock. Um, yeah, Jonathan uh, definitely has to go into the lab to try and figure out how to fight uh, the Animal Crossing characters. Um, definitely seemed to be a weakness for him. Uh, and it, 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 it can be, it's pretty understandable. They, they can be a pretty frustrating character to, to fight, and, like, you don't go under, like, like normal, average uh, conventions on how to fight them. So, like, it definitely takes some uh, some mental gymnastics to get over. But with that, you know, congrats to Zircon.